I'm David Story, and this is the Look News 411. Law enforcement is looking for your help in tracking down a missing Scroon Lake boy. Cole Anno was last seen in a densely wooded area near Scroon Lake on Saturday evening. The boy is described as 5 foot 5 inches tall, 110 pounds, with wavy brown hair. He was last seen wearing a red Boston hat, a yellow shirt, black shorts, and black Nike sneakers. He may have a backpack. If you know of his whereabouts, you're asked to call New York State Police. The community is continuing to show support for a baby who was allegedly killed at the hands of his father. A fundraiser was held Sunday for three-month-old Brett King, who was killed on August 11th in Fort Edward. A group called Hands Across New York held a bake sale outside the Five Guys restaurant in Queensbury. True Order, a motorcycle club, was also there to lend support. The head of Hands Across New York says about 100 people came out to make a donation. We've had young kids come through with their last 27 cents and put it in the can, and those, those things matter. Everything adds up. 30-year-old Kevin King is charged with murder and manslaughter in the baby's death. A 62-year-old Kingsbury man died Sunday morning due to a farm tractor accident. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says Terrence Irwin was killed when he lost control of the tractor he was driving, causing it to flip over on top of him. Another worker was nearby and attempted to free Irwin, but was unsuccessful. Irwin was pronounced dead on the scene. Saratoga Springs police have arrested two men on burglary charges, 21-year-old Matthew Cutler of Boston Spa and 19-year-old Jacob Donahy Shute of Gansvort were arrested after they allegedly broke into a house on Jefferson Street in the city. Both men are charged with criminal mischief and felony burglary charges. The Washington County Fair officially got underway Monday evening. Congressman Bill Owens was on hand for the opening ceremony. The fair in Easton is the, third, the state's third largest and expects to draw well over 100,000 people to the fairgrounds during the week-long event. Well, join us on air Tuesday night at 6 and 10 for our weekly look at the track with Trotter Furlong. But for now, I'm David Story, and that's your Look News 411.